Hi guys, again a very warm welcome to the Niels Faroy Design channel and to CAVE where we are joining CAVE cars in a walk around through the lovely showroom here and there is a special British car I would like to show you because um, well I've got a bit of a laugh for the British motor cars it's an Aston Martin but actually not this DB9 although it's a truly truly lovely motor car but let's have a good look at the DB9 before we're going to have a look at the other Aston Martin we're going to discuss today with you. So, come with me and let's have a look at what is standing there in the back. A typical British brute, a Aston Martin DBS. So we've got of course the British corner over here with a Corniche, a coupe version actually of the Rolls Royce made from the 70s all towards the 80s. The Continental T by Bentley, just a lovely motor car too, but we're here for this car, the DBS. Well, let's start at the front because this is quite an impressive nose. Imagine seeing this in your rear view mirror, coming towards you, flashing its double round headlights. Get out of my way. Truly impressive, especially again, remember this is the 70s, so um, you know, this was very impressive at the time, and it still is actually a beautiful motor car with the typical Aston Martin grille actually, in this case full width, with a little step there that we all know of Aston Martin, the horizontal elements, all in real metal of course, because weight saving truly wasn't an issue back then. Beautiful chrome bumpers and this lower chin spoiler, making it stands very, very nice indeed, nice and squared. So, if you join me here towards the back, a properly handmade car as well. So, these beautifully sculpted fenders here that run into the A-post. So, this is not a separate unit. It runs all the way towards the other side, which was, again, a typical of the 60s and the 70s of coach-built cars. Um, but, you know, very unique, of course, uh, looking at automotive design now, where all these parts are separate and mass produced and we would find component seams or shut lines for instance running here to there making this a separate fender easy to produce easy to replace this lovely detail here a typical Aston Martin air vent um, but very easy to recognize and nice to take forward into modern cars like you've just seen on the DB9 standing over there but also with the more modern cars these days the DB11 for instance Moving towards the back, this is truly a fast back car with these lovely, rich, sculpted lines. Very clean, very pure, very modern actually. Um, so modern that the wire wheels might even look slightly out of place. But this was original equipment. This was how the car came. But one could almost argue that the car is so modern, the wire wheels look slightly out of place and you would sort of expect perhaps uh, an alloy wheel uh, under a car like this, but this was truly how they were made. Very uh, squared off rear end, very wide, going all the way from left to right here, tiny typical horizontal tail lights, and then these nice big pipes with a valet underneath, DBS font over there. Again, very clean, very sculpted, nicely integrated there into that chamfer running from left to right to extend its visual width as well. I personally think the color combination of this car is fantastic too. I've got this uh, dark gray metallic and then look at the interior here. Just fantastic. And it's a shame you don't have any smell on YouTube because the letter smell of this interior is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic uh, Typical way of, of stitching the leather, of course, very uh, very English, and then this quite deep dish uh, three-spoke steering wheel with these very nice dials behind them, nice classic fonts running all the way round with uh, the nice chamfers over there. Great attention to detail. Look at the switch gear, for instance. Really nicely done for the time, and I think that's even a wooden gear lever yeah over there with the automatic transmission 
which is really, really nicely done. And then this rear seat that is beautifully integrated, running all the way from left to right. It's not just two separate seats, but it's truly this feeling of a continuous space, which is something quite common these days in car design, of course. But back in the days, you wouldn't see it that much. They were all sort of separate components, not really regarded that often as a complete sculpture, a complete piece of car design. Very nice. So, thank you for joining me on this quick tour of the DBS uh, Aston Martin here at Cave Cars in Uden, south of the Netherlands. If you have a question about any of the lovely cars here, we've got uh, the Alpines, for instance, fantastic Panda 4x4, and the Bentley Corner over there with the Arnage, the Continental GT, or the Continental T over here. Let us know in the comments, because we'd be very happy to make movies about these cars or the continuously new collection of great motor cars here at Game Cars. All right, see you later.